Meditation number two. Close your eyes. Let yourself get comfortable. Relax. Take a few deep breaths. Take another nice deep breath. A long deep breath is the cure for what ails us. Begin to let your mind get quiet again. Each deep breath is like a wave that you can ride back into the ocean of the inner self. Breathe in, nice and deep. Exhale, long and slow. And again, let yourself get more and more relaxed. Let yourself get back to the place you reached in the first meditation. Once you design that place inside yourself, it becomes easier to go back there. Your mind is always is filled with questions. Remember, you can have all your baggage back in a few minutes. But just for now, let go of all questions, all desires. You want to experience moments when you're not driven by these desires. Start to imagine what it feels like to play without desires. Before you can do it while playing, you have to be able to do it while just sitting. Let yourself rest in that comfortable, quiet place. And imagine that you could do anything from that space. Imagine that you don't have to leave that space to function. See yourself playing your instrument from that effortless space. Imagine yourself on the stage of Carnegie Hall. A blinding spotlight is on you. There are a hundred thousand people in the audience. They're all looking at you. And you're not doing anything but breathing. You're sitting there. And your hands or lips or whatever you use to make music are working by themselves. You're sitting there just breathing and your body is playing the instrument without your participation. You're not involved. Now imagine that what's coming out is the greatest music you've ever heard. Take another deep breath and go deeper into the world of your imagination. You're trying to imagine what mastery looks and feels like on you. Again, you're on the stage of Carnegie Hall and everyone is looking at you. But instead of feeling pressure, you're sitting in your chair or standing and just breathing and your hands, feet, or lips are making the music for you. Something is taking you over and music is being played through you while you rest. Imagine that. You're beaming at the audience and you're listening right along with them as it comes through you. Along with the audience, you're thinking, Wow, this is great. Who's playing this? The greatest music you've ever heard is coming out of you, and you're not doing anything. Imagine that. It's a fun fantasy, but it is also the highest reality. You have been receiving music out of a tiny opening 
for a long time. But now imagine you are opening up to the ocean of music. Just see it. Get a taste. See it inside you. Taste the salt air of inspiration on your tongue. Imagine that the ocean is infinite sound. Every wave is a brilliant idea that pours through you, breaking down the sea walls of your mind. Imagine the dam bursting and you are drowning in the ecstasy of sound. Now imagine you died and became the ocean. You have no identity, no beginning, no end. You no longer play music. You are music. Take a deep breath. Now imagine yourself opening up to the infinite universe of sound, where music organizes itself through you in a unique way. Your music is just the music that comes through you. Not jazz. Your music. Not bebop. Your music. Music. Not American music. Your music. It's coming from this ocean and you are drowning in it. Take another deep breath and breathe in the water the way a fish does with his gills. Breathe in the thought, I have no mind, I have no will, I have no control, I am the vessel and music pours through me. Take one more deep breath. Go deep inside now and see the ocean inside your heart. Call up your most profound memory of an ocean and see it in your own heart. Imagine that ocean is made of great, unlimited, brilliant ideas. See it inside you. Now imagine yourself opening up wide. So wide that the ocean can pour through you. Imagine it pouring through you into and out of your instrument. And if you're a singer, imagine yourself singing wild, amazing ideas. You are like the mouth of a river, strong, silent, and still, but channeling a never-ending current of ideas. Again, give yourself this thought. I am a master. I am great. Don't tire of that thought. Give it to yourself again. 
I am a master. I am great. You may say to yourself, it's not working. I don't feel like a master. I don't feel great. Don't pay attention to that thought. That is just your mind spoiling it again for you. Keep saying it. I am a master. I am great. If you would say that to yourself for the next 10 years, your life would look very different from the way it looks today. Great things would come to you. You become your thoughts. So mastery would manifest in all aspects of your life. Every day you would be driving the thought in a little deeper through your whole being. I am a master. More and more, the things you do would have mastery. More and more, the things you played would have mastery. But you must burn this thought into your consciousness and burn away all falsehoods. I am a master. The thing that becomes true about you is the thing you think most often. If you think, I am limited, that becomes true. If you think, I am not too good, that becomes true. But if you think, I am God, that also becomes true. Whatever you think about yourself becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you think, every note I play is the most beautiful sound I've ever heard. That becomes true. Take a deep breath now and inhale this concept. Contemplate it. Every note I play is the most beautiful sound I've ever heard. Right now, in this relaxed state, I'm going to give you new thoughts of empowerment. Breathe deeply as you hear them. Imagine each thought is on a boat, sailing out of the mouth of the river and into the ocean of your heart. Every thought, put it on the boat. Sail it down the river, through the mouth of the river, and into that ocean. Thought number one. I am a master. Send that down the river. I am a master. See it on the sailboat, sailing off into the sunset. Imagine the sun is the center of your heart and the boat is sailing towards it. On the boat is the precious cargo. I am a master. Thought number two. Music is easy. Send that thought sailing peacefully down the river towards the sunset, into the ocean. Music is easy. Thought number three. I play music effortlessly. Send that thought down the river towards the sunset and into that ocean. I play music effortlessly. Thought number four. I play music masterfully. Send that down. 
I play music masterfully. Thought number five. Every note I play is the most beautiful sound I've ever heard. Every note I play is the most beautiful sound I've ever heard. If you could program yourself into believing these things, you would get a little crazy. Insane with joy. Insane with ecstasy. Enjoying every note you play. Laughing at the wrong notes. Loving them and making everyone believe that they are the new right notes. Don't worry if you're not feeling it at this minute. Practice it. Practice it for five years. Practice it for ten years. What do you have to lose? Take another deep breath and return to the room. <laughs>